Hey everyone, welcome to this student testimonial with Amanda Gahan. She uh, did the course careers course and she managed to land an internship which could lead on to a full-time role and I'm really excited that she's with me and we're going to uh, talk about her new role, her new life as a UI UX designer and how she found the course and obviously any uh, insights she's got for you. So uh, I'll, I'll just let you introduce yourself Amanda. Can you tell me about a, a bit about yourself and about your background? Yeah, hey Anthony, nice to finally get to chat with you face to face. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so my background, um, I did get my bachelor's degree in psychology, so I've always had an interest in the human mind and why people make the decisions that they make. Um, and then for most of the years after college, I was in the recruiting space, um, most recently in the tech recruiting space. And so UI UX design was a position that I handled very often, and that's kind of how I learned about it. And uh, cool, yeah, cool. always kind of had a proclivity for like more of the creative side too. And so I'm like, man, that sounds that sounds fun. Every time I'm looking at people's portfolios. So what was it that made you go into UI UX? Was it literally just placing people? People did you find that role was the most interesting when you were placing people? It was yes. Other, so you know, the software engineering and more of the company didn't didn't really strike my fancy, but um, the UI UX design always sounded really fun. Last July, I was unfortunately part of a layoff, and so when that happened, and I started looking for new roles, my husband was like, "Hey, is this what you want to is recruiting what you want to continue to do, or is there something else that you're interested in?" Because a lot of freedom right now if you want to make a career pivot now's the time to do it and i was like well gosh now that you ask <laughs> yeah <laughs> there is kind of this other thing that i want to do and so um i looked into it and of course careers that's really cool because I, I always wonder because I, I work with recruiters quite a bit i always think they're so because you, you do you, you specialize in recruiting for certain things and you must kind of get into the topic and learn about it and then yeah. uh, give you have to know enough to be able to ask about it or sort of qualify a person and so i only knew like some conversational words but not really the meat of it <laughs> that's cool uh we, we can talk about recruiting later because that's actually interesting because you you must have a really good insight about obviously the job search and landing of the roles uh, so mm -hmm. i'll ask you for advice about that in a second but um what made you choose course careers out of all the infinite possibilities out there yeah so uh a couple answers to that since i had uh kind of created some good relationships with uh, people that I had placed in UI UX roles. I asked them, does it matter where you get any sort of certification or degree from? And they said, you no, know, like what they're really gonna look at is your portfolio. And so they're like, you don't need to go get some like really expensive boot camp certification or go to, go to college for it. I'm like, awesome. And then um, I watched this popular YouTuber named Caleb Hammer. And I believe yeah, that yeah. he was part of the affiliate program for it um and since he recommended it um at the at the time when i was watching him i don't know if this course was created yet when i first started watching him and then when i was looking into ui ux i'm like well shoot i know course careers is is tech careers why don't i go and see if they have a ui ux one yeah. and then they did. and i think it was maybe about three weeks old at that point yeah, we're, we're still less than a year now so yeah 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 it was pretty new and so uh, I was like, well, gosh, that's good timing. <laughs> that's that, that, that's, re that's really good. Um, a, a lot of our students come through Caleb, so it's nice to uh, it, it's, it's nice for me to know where people are coming from from the yeah. course. But, uh, <laughs> so let's just talk about the course then. So how, how did you how did you find it? What did you what was there anything that you found valuable from it? Um, and tell me about your journey with the course. Yeah, mm. well, I love that you kind of just um, jump right into like the. The meat of the course. There isn't a lot of. Yeah, just make it. <laughs> this is the way to put it. And uh, I love that at the end, you finish with a portfolio and you can just jump right into interviewing and, and applying for jobs. And so I thought that was really cool. Now, I, I don't know what other courses are like. So maybe yeah. that's the same for them, but uh, I thought this was really useful. And now being on the job, uh, realizing how, how extremely relevant everything we did was to doing it on on the job yeah we touched on different like kind of high level across the whole spectrum so i guess when you're in it you're going to go deep in obviously some of the ones yeah yeah, yeah. 
Uh, but did, did you enjoy? Tell me about your uh, project that you did. So, did you? Did, what, what project did you do? And did you enjoy uh, the process of taking something from idea to obviously prototype at the end? Oh my gosh, yeah. So, I mean, the one that I obviously dove the deepest into was the Farm Finder one. It was kind of the first one that that we walked through. Um, and then I also chose to do, I think, the Moda Fresca one and the Voltec one, which is great because I'm trying to put myself in a position to. Um, maybe land a role with a huge trucking manufacturer around here. So yeah. having that breadth also in your portfolio of different kinds of Project. uh, projects and the and the role that I'm in currently actually is an e-commerce site. So having experience doing that Moda Fresco one was also was also fantastic. It's nice to have the breadth of it. Um, but it was really fun, especially Farm Finder, since that was the first one that we did. Uh, starting from just like inception to to the end and it's so detailed doing everything um and i remember just getting so excited because i i obviously love the kind of the ui side a little bit more but once you finally start like prototyping it and getting getting into the fun bits of it but uh all of a sudden you're like trying out and you're like oh my gosh if i if i click on this button it was <laughs> 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 very exciting <laughs> That is the fun bit, but that's literally halfway through the project, isn't it? It's like it we is, yes. people jump into that straight away, but you need to know what to design for. <laughs> yeah, and even um, recruiting for those roles, I didn't realize how much of it was before that. Because, uh, I mean, I look at I would look at people's portfolios all day, and um, you kind of get a high-level overview in their portfolio and the steps that they went through, but, like, gosh, all the in-depth part, all the research and the information architecture and everything beforehand, uh, there's a lot more to it than I had realized. Yeah, it's like an iceberg, isn't it? You've got the UI. It is, the yeah. <laughs> what, what are you actually putting on the page? Um, how did you find, did you use the actual community for the course at all? And how did you, did you communicate like, with your students or, did, and everything like that? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I spent, um, quite a bit of time in Discord, just watching like what kind of feedback other people were getting, if they maybe already had a question that I had. Um, and then I felt fairly comfortable sharing my own work and getting feedback. And um, gosh, everybody was so nice and so respectful with their feedback too, because I mean, you can be getting some Discord communities too, where um, there there is an art to feedback and giving like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but it was very helpful. And then especially getting to do the one on one coaching with Kevin at the end also. Yeah. And that was incredibly helpful as well. He's very knowledgeable. So what did you do with Kevin? So this is this is something that we offer at the moment after you've done the obviously the video course with me. It's a, it's a bit of one on one tutoring, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it, I think it started with maybe four of us. And in the end, it was about two of us. Uh, yeah. Life happens, yeah. um, but uh, he had some really good advice. Uh, you know, I have a husband who's very much into coding. He's like, "Gosh, you guys could start your own, your own thing if you want. You don't even need to work for anyone. Start your own company." <laughs> um, but he had us work on tangible but ambitious projects where we could maybe use that to leverage ourselves into a position. So trying to think of solutions for um, apps or websites or things that we use every day. And can you create a solution for, for something you might see as an issue and use that to leverage yourself into a role with that company? It's a, it's, I mean, it's, it's a good point. It's just, it, it's thinking outside the box. It's smart. It's really smart. <laughs> because if you think about it from like a recruiter's point of view, if you were hiring for say the trucking company and someone had gone above and said, look, I've done a bit of work as an uh -huh. example project for the company. It stands out, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, uh, moving on, what did you, so what did you have at the end of the course? So you went in not knowing anything about design. What did you come out with at the end of it? Well, I mean, I feel like the whole design process <laughs> <laughs> from start to finish, not only that, but a bunch of um, connections in Discord too, and just the community of people who might be able to help you in the future. I mean, I'm in Discord and a recruiter, so if anyone, <laughs> a former recruiter, if anyone needs help, but um, the I, it's funny because you you graduate and you've never done the work 
on the job. And so it's hard to tell, like, did I learn everything I needed to learn? I don't, I'm not sure. And then you start doing the job and you're like, yeah, I learned everything I needed to learn to do this. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, anything that you might not know, it's, it's simple questions for people. So, so, so what, 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 so at the end of the course, did you, did you, you had a portfolio at the end of it? Is that what, uh, is there what so let's we'll talk about how, what did you present to this employer how, how, how did you have the role and what i had a nice, pretty traditional interview with them um i did choose my farm finder case study just because so i did a little bit of my own background work to see what it is that i'll be working on so i could pick the most relevant uh case study that i had to present to them yeah. and so what they were doing it was it was sort of a um e-commerce site but for hooking up local businesses with local creators and um part of the research involved going to to um like farmers markets and so that's why i ended up presenting uh, my farm farm finder one and uh also having to present the final as if you're presenting to a stakeholder was yeah. really useful for the interview um now of course i gave a little bit more of an elevator pitch in the interview it wasn't quite so lengthy but um having that experience with presenting a case study formally was really useful for the interview process and so um because they'll i don't know if typically they ask you this but mo in my experience a lot of time they'll ask you to walk them through one of your case studies yeah that's what i was that's what i thought when i was making when i was structuring the course it's like no i, I hate presenting and, and always yeah. but when you've when, when you've kind of forced to present it it, it kind of rolls off the tongue after a couple of times and you, yeah. you don't think mm -hmm. about it you know when you're talking about your case today you're like uh -huh. blah, 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 and it, it, you're more relaxed <laughs> uh -huh. you get so familiar with your own work that <laughs> you can just go right through it so so i mean that that's all cool that's really really good so what what's the job that you've uh you, or the role that you've landed uh can you just tell me a bit about that and and what you're doing and how the course helps yeah, so um, I started working for a startup called uh, Geeky Insights. Um, they kind of create tech solutions. And so the specific product that I'm working on right now is this e-commerce site for them. Um, since this is like a brand new, this sort of a brand new um, startup for them, I, I really am doing this from start to finish with a small, very small team. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm in a unique position where I do have quite a bit of creative freedom right now. And there's not um, like a lot, there's not a lot of style guidelines or anything like that yet. I'm kind of creating the style guidelines with um, another person and it's been going super well. At, at first I definitely had some imposter syndrome. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, big time. And then you start doing it and I'm like, gosh, no, this course career has really prepared me for this. I, I feel like I really know what I'm doing. So um, like any questions I've had have been more meeting with the stakeholder to see what what it is that they want to see in this in this case. So, um, yeah, I didn't realize how well like I mentioned that course careers actually did prepare me to do the work. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I mean, I and the goal is to give you confidence when you when you're in the job so you know, the worst thing is going into a job and hearing an acronym or something and not knowing what on earth anyone's talking about mm -hmm. or, or research and you've only done ui design so mm -hmm. the goal is to make you confidence and it sounds kind of sounds like you're doing that which is uh it makes me really happy yeah so yeah i mean for me i, I wish you all the best in that and uh kind of before we wrap up is there any advice especially specifically coming from your recruiting background and the yeah. course so you're, you're super unique what advice would you give silver students doing the course oh gosh i would uh apply for any and all positions that you think even if you just even if there's like a couple qualifications that you're like i don't meet this do it anyway because if that's not the the role for you they might have another one that is good for you that you just don't know about um, additionally, instead of just looking at job postings, the one thing I did to find this role was to do like Boolean searches. And so I did one for, it was like UI or UX and in quotes, I'm hiring. Um, yeah. cause people will post that because they're not able to do job postings. Um, a lot of networking and also specifically for an interview during the interview process. One thing that 
is really important is if you don't know the answer to a question, it's okay to say that you don't know, but you need to be able to explain how you might find out the answer. That always goes a really long way with, with hiring managers. Um, yeah, if you don't know the answer to a question, to explain how you would find the answer to a question. That's really good advice. I mean, the, the thing is, n nobody's perfect, and yeah. it's better than uh, making it up and being found out. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, they're not, at some level, they are testing your knowledge a little bit, but they want to know that you're a solution oriented person, and that goes a long way. That, 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 that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, any last questions for me? Or anything you want to mention? No, no. no. Thank you for meeting with me. It's nice to meet you face to face. It's a pleasure to meet to meet anyone who's doing the course. But uh, for me, thank you very much.